In this video, I will show you how to do a Facebook ad cold campaign. So if you're doing ads on Facebook and Instagram, and if you want more phone calls, this type of campaign will be perfect for you, especially if you're doing ads for local businesses or any type of home service based business like roofing, construction, HVAC, landscaping. This campaign is perfect because it gets results from day one if you do it correctly. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up the campaign and I'll talk about a few other stuff as well, which will be really helpful in your campaign creation journey. In order to do the demo, I'm using my own ad account here, as you can see. But if you don't have an ad account set up like this, there's a videos link in this video's description that will help you set up the business manager ad account, set up pixels, connections to the Facebook page and all that stuff. So you need to finish that and make sure everything is perfect for the campaign to be created. So go ahead and watch that video if you haven't already and then come back and watch this one. Now, this campaign we are creating is for an HVAC company and we will only create one ad, but you can create multiple ads to test them. And we'll talk about testing after we create the campaign. But if you want to come to the ads manager, you need to go to adsmanager.facebook.com and it will bring you to the ad manager. And if not, then you can, after you know going to the page, you can just click on this toggle and go to the right ad account. Now, once you're in the ad account, you can click on create and this is the campaign creation. So the campaign has a goal. The goal for us is leads because we want more phone calls, hence we want more leads. So we will select leads here and then it will create, um, it will ask us if we want to go with Facebook's recommended settings or if we want to do a manual leads campaign ourselves. I will select manual leads campaign because it's more flexible. It has more customizations. So once we create the campaign, as you can see on the left side, it gives us a view and that view is a hierarchy where the, the top level is a campaign and the campaign has a few settings. Like what's the goal? What's the auction? Uh, what's the buying type? What's the bidding type and stuff? Uh, do you want to do campaign level budget? I mean, do you want to assign the budget to the campaign level, which I won't do? Do you want to do any AB tests? So the only thing you need to uh, worry about on the campaign level is leads as the campaign objective. Once that's sorted, all done. Now let's click on next and go to the next step. The next step is very important, which is ad set. And in the ad set level, we define a lot of, we define a lot of settings. First of all, what's the conversion location? Like where are we sending the traffic? We are sending the traffic to make a phone call. So we'll select call here, right? And here, the second thing we need to do is select the right Facebook page. So this is a demo. Um, in your case, it will be your business Facebook page. I'm selecting my own Facebook page, but don't worry about it because, you know, it, it's not an actual campaign I will run, but, you know, it's a campaign I'm showing you how to create. Um, bid strategy is fine, highest volume, budget. So I'll give it a budget of like anywhere between 25 to 35. So it gets a decent number of phone calls and Facebook has enough space to optimize the campaign. Um, so I'll, I'll give it a 35 a day budget and then no setting configuration needed in this section so just leave it as it is and here location is very important so the the next thing we are going to do is location so how much do we want to target so usually for any type of business like let's say i want to uh, i want to promote 15 miles around riverside california so i'll just go with riverside California. So it actually selected the whole city instead of the um, instead of a certain radius. But what we can do is we can just zoom into this. Right. Since this is a river, uh, this is Riverside, we can just hit a drop pin here somewhere and then remove Riverside from there. And let's say we want to do 15 kilometers. If we want to do 15 miles, whatever that is in kilometers, I think it's like 22 or 23 or something. I'm not sure. I'm not good at math. Anyway, um, so we will select that area by dropping a pin and then selecting the whole radius. You, you can, if you want, you can exclude areas as well. Uh, in that case, we will just do this. And let's say we want to exclude Roseville. So we will just drop a pin and then we will exclude that part of the city <clears throat> like this. So this area is excluded because sometimes Facebook, what it does is it goes beyond its targeting area and then it starts promoting in the surrounding areas as well. So in order to prevent that, you can do the exclusion method 
and exclude the surrounding areas so you, you spend less money and you, you don't waste money there. Uh, on the advantage audience, you don't have to select anything, but if you want to do like, uh, you know, some age, age range limitations, you can do that from here. So I, I, I want to just pr uh, promote it to homeowners. In that case, I can just do age 24 to 65 plus all genders. If you want to do detailed targeting, you can do that as well, but it's not really recommended. But what you can do is you can target the high income people if you are targeting the US. So I'll just do income. And in the income, I will just select household income top 10 and household income top 10 to 25 percent. OK, so I'm selecting the top 10 to 25 percent in those zip codes that I'm targeting uh, in this in this section. Right. Um, and then placement is fine. You don't have to uh, select placements because Facebook will find the best placement for this type of ad itself. Uh, and that that includes Facebook and Instagram. So it's not just Facebook meta uh, is uh, Facebook plus Instagram now. So that's that's the ad set. We selected the location. We selected our page. We did the budget. We also did the location. And then we did some, uh, you know, custom audience targeting, which is not a lot, but you know, that's pretty much what we did in this section. Now, let's go ahead and hit next. This is the ad now. So we will uh, call it ad one. All right. And as you selected the Facebook page on the ad set level, when you come to the ad level, it automatically selects the Facebook page and the Instagram account connected to the Facebook page. So you don't have to do anything to connect the Instagram account. Even if Instagram is not connected, Inst Facebook is still going to promote your ad on Instagram through your Facebook page somehow. So don't worry about it. If Instagram is not connected, it's, it's not the end of the world. Now, in the ad level, we actually define the ad creatives and the ad, um, you know, ad copies and stuff, right? Now, one very important thing you need to do, as you can see, there's a uh, there's an error here because I haven't given it a number yet. So I need to I need to give it a number, right? So let's go ahead and enter the number. The country code will be four four. Okay, United Kingdom. Okay, so I'll just give it seven four three eight three four two one. So let's say this is the number I'm promoting, uh, you know, in in the ads. So people. The idea is for people to see the ads first and then click on the button so it direct, uh, directly places the phone call to this number, right? And um, that's that's the only, that's one of the most important things on the call only ads because we are doing call only ads, not lead ads or any type of other lead ads. Now here in the format, we will select a single image or video. You can do either image, you can do video. So I'll remove everything from here. So it will be an image ad. Let me just grab the image from my other screen so you can click on upload and upload the image which is pretty simple but I'll just drag and drop it okay select next and the uh, the cropping uh, for you know all type of placements should be original so it doesn't really get squashed or any you know cropped out it needs to be very uh, visible so the, the content in the ad image needs to be very visible so here's something I did real quick as an ad copy, and that's the headline. No description needed. Or you can just do uh, limited spots available just to create some urgency. So you can do some descriptions to create urgency in the ad. So this is what the ad looks like right now. If you can see it, this is the ad copy. This is the image. This is the uh, headline, right? And the description will be shown to some placements and in some placements there won't be any descriptions okay so that's pretty much done once it's done what you can do is you can just simply publish this campaign and this campaign will be published and start uh, promoting in no time if you don't have any policy violations which is you know not going to be happening if you are doing ads for any type of local business or home service business because these are pretty straightforward ads so we have published our ad it's processing and in no time it will say it start uh, started delivering right now how do we track results that's very important for us so you can do two things for call campaigns number one you can see how many phone calls you got for this number from this ad for or from any type of ad right 
Secondly, we can see how many 20 second calls mm -hmm. were placed, right? So in results, in results, it will show you how many 20 second calls were placed by default. So if this ad had five calls and from them, uh, two of them were, two of them lasted more than 20 seconds. So the results will be two in that case. And by default, Facebook doesn't show you how many phone calls were placed. So you can just click on columns performance, customize columns and just type call, right? And then you can just say, um, you know, 20 second messenger calls is fine. It's not, uh, just do phone. Yeah, phone number clicks. So that's something you can track or also you can track calls. So this one in particular will by default track the phone calls, which are the 20 second phone calls, right? And now if you want to have more ads like this, all I can do, or all I need to do so right now we have only one ad and only one ad set. You can have multiple ad sets for multiple areas. Like you can just target, you can just do this, like duplicate the ad set itself. And now everything remains same. Maybe you can just play around with the targeting a bit and then uh, publish this ad set as well with the same ad. That's totally fine. And uh, one more thing you can do is you can, oh, you need to make sure that the budget is within your limits so if you are doing 35 a day on this ad set and if you have copied it now the budget for this campaign is 70 pounds a day because each ad set has an individual independent budget of 35 so you need to make sure that nothing like that happens so you don't end up um, spending more and uh, if you wanted to uh, duplicate if you want to keep the same ad set let's say i i'll delete this ad set so i want only one one ad set and want multiple ads I can just quickly duplicate this and call it add to and then you know just add image add videos if I need uh, change the primary text headline description and then publish it you can have as many ads uh, as you need under one ad set but I would highly recommend not having more than three ads under one ad set if you have more than that you can uh, you know duplicate the ad set and then al allocate the budget to that ad set itself and then have other three another up to three ads in the new ad set so that's how we create call campaigns hope this video was useful and again for tracking you just need to make sure how many calls are being placed which will be shown under results and that's you know that's one of the most important factors in facebook ads because if you don't have any results there's no point in doing the campaign so that this is very important for you to track and based on this uh, result you can you know optimize your ads in the future so hopefully this video was useful subscribe if you are new to the channel and i'll see you in the next one